All right, so we're going to go over how to do some statistics when we have two treatments that we are trying to see if there is a significant difference between them. So I've got treatment A and treatment B. We've got the data here. Our independent variable then is the treatment. Our dependent variable is whatever measurement here. So for our lab, our treatment A would be a pH of something and treatment B would be a different pH. And then these measurements would be seedling growth in millimeters or centimeters. And uh, now we want to know, uh, we're gonna do first some descriptive statistics. So this we've done in previous labs, but let's just write these down. It's standard deviation and average for our two treatments. So to do this, I'm going to hit equals. I'm going to start typing average. Here we have average. I'm going to select everything here. And then I'm going to hit the check mark in the bottom right. And then that gives me average. And then for standard deviation, it's STDEV. I'm going to select those values. Oops. Hit the check mark. And there we go. All right. Um, and it would repeat then for the next column. All right, so I already have then some descriptive statistics. My average for treatment A is 9.95 with a standard deviation of 4.7. And my average for treatment B is 6.65 with a standard deviation of 3.47. All right, but now I want to do a t-test. And for the t-test, um, I'm going to use both um, of the data both both columns. So I'm going to do equals t-test. All right, and there it is. I'm going to take range one, which is this one, and select that, and then hit a comma. Now I'm going to select range two, and I'm going to select the second one, and comma. Um, if we don't know, oh, it looks like I need to make that C21. If we don't know, or we don't have an expectation as to which will be greater, then the tails will be two. And then the type is going to be one. And what this is going to give me is a p-value. So here I have a p-value of 0 0.005. And so for my results, I can write the average for treatment A the standard deviation for treatment A, again, those for treatment B. And then I can say I performed a two sample T test to see, to test if there was a difference between the two treatments. And my P value was 0 0.005. And in this instance, I would say it is a significant difference because it is below our alpha of P 0.05. And I would reject the null hypothesis. All right, so there's still one other thing that would be important to do, and that is going to be make a graph. So I'm gonna put my labels for treatment A and B, and then I'm going to write in those averages, 4.718106, hang on, that's probably plenty. Um, and that's not the average, oops. Nine, 0.95 is the average and 6.65 is the average there. And now I'm going to make a bar graph. To do that, I hit the plus in the top right. I hit chart and I'm going to do a column chart here. And then I'm going to for format it for how I want it. So I do not want a legend. Um, I can put in horizontal axis title. Well, actually, I think what I'll do is I will take the legend and I'll move it to the bottom. And that'll give me treatment A and treatment B. And then my titles, left vertical axis title, I'm going to put length of seedlings in millimeters. All right, and that's all the information I need.
there's my graph. I can then move that into a word processing document and give it a figure caption.